Sepp Straka shot two over in the opening round and then went on a run in round two. John, his second into one. Just outside 130 yards, downwind. Mm hmm. Uh, just right center. There you go. Yeah, I think this is an easier tee shot for Straka. Fairway kind of sets a little bit better for the distance that he hits it. Anything 20 feet right of the hole, feet toward it, also useful. Oh, yeah, this is going to be good. It's going to be really good. Keep feeding. Let's go up to the second hole now and welcome in Jim Gallagher, Jr. Thank you, sir. Sip struck it now for Eagle. We've had three here already. Today, I should say. Well, let's make it four. Straka making a good rally. The last couple days. How about that start? Pretty Eagle. This, this is definitely up the right. Yeah, that's going to be fine. Yeah, and it's almost going to find its way towards the left edge. Yeah, Just those divots. Okay. Sip Straka now at the fourth. Got off to a hot start. 15 under par total. Should be able to get to this one close from that distance. His front location. And he does. Spins it back nicely to the hole. I'll try those shots, even though it's not something, obviously, they do a whole lot of practicing. But Sip Straka for birdie. Now, that's 17 birdies, two eagles since the first round, the last... Uh, Two and a half days. So, Campbell University in Bowie's Creek, North Carolina. He was a camel. Winner of the North South Amateur. Come on now. Line it up. Line it up. All the way. Line it up. Line it up. Line it up. All right. Watch out for Sepp Straka. Takes the lead. Birdie, eagle, par, birdie, par, birdie. At 17 under. Move the tees up, back left hole location. You need to hit it 185 to carry that bunker in line with the hole. Five under through six is Sepp. There's That's a, a good shot there. There's a ridge right there. He just missed it. It would have fed right to the eight. hole. Did he hit it? He did. Whoa, man, does he have a round going or what? Six under through seven holes. Sepp Straka now has a two shot lead. Good drive here for Sepp Straka at nine. Back right hole location, though. Really difficult hole. I don't mind that at all. It's tough to get it over there all the way where that hole location is on nine. The second toughest hole in the golf course. Now all of a sudden he finds himself in the lead. What's the difference as you make your way through a final round like that? Well, I think now that he's got all this momentum. Look at this. This might go in. Oh my Man. goodness. I was just going to say you got to keep the pedal down and keep the momentum going. And he did. Wow. What a putt. What a front side for Sepp Straka. A seven under 28. And let's get right out to the action with our leader Sepp Straka at the 11th hole. And here's Dottie Pepper. Thank you, Andrew hole cut in the front right for the leader today and another one close in. And Dottie right now those greens getting that dried out sheen about them so this is going to be hasty down the hill. And it is another one. It is a brute. And that is a six iron. Helping breeze right now. Good safe shot there too, Mark, using that left bank and feeding it in towards the hole. You want no part of the right-hand side of this target, Finchie. Exactly right. He looks very poised right now. Not a lot of emotion being shown by the tall Austrian. Looking for another birdie. It looks good. He's got it. That putter is on fire. Yeah, don't touch the head. That's, that's going to scorch your hand. I'm staying out of the way. Uh, regular caddy for Kevin Kisner. That got the treatment. Yeah. 
Yeah, Kevin Kisner is still trying to find a little form, isn't he? At the moment, wish him well. Well positioned with that tee shot. The Chester lofted wedge into a quartering breeze. And that's stalling just a whisker. Oh, some shot there, Mark. They sit here again at 13. Not too much doing. Oh, it's another one. Hey, Frank, Silvers, Illinois is feeling like Athens, Georgia right now. <laughs> and Doddy, he's going to fairway medal, operative number about 300. There's a kick forward range there. Shocking numbers to see that he's played this par over, played this hole over par for the week. Well, this one's going to work. Yeah, that's a good smart play. We saw a lot more success from that side yesterday. He's got any number of options. Can go high or something a little lower. I'll we'll skip forward. Contact sure sounded good. Ah, oh, saucy. Special round of golf. Back to 14. And our story. Another chapter. Another birdie. 11 under on the round. Trying to hit the fairway for the fourth consecutive day here at 18. Well, he with his ball shape will need to hold something up with his wind off the right side because as fast as the fairways are, those bunkers are in play quickly. And he's in the fairway again. Perfect. So a chance for 59 if he can get up and down from there. Seven iron. Not too much draw. Land soft there. Oh, oh no. Oh, what a shame. A little to the right wouldn't be too bad either because the green filters from right to left. His fourth. It's lower flighted. Spin. Okay, big putt for Straka. We've seen a number of these go in today. Can he make another one? He cannot. Okay, a great ride, but a bumpy finish for Seb Straka. Double bogey on 18, shoots a 62, which is his career low round on the PGA Tour. And now will it be enough at 21 under par? Well, this isn't going to do it. This is out to the right. Oh, and left himself another long putt like he did back at 17. One more to go for Straka, and as Colt already told us, not a good lie for Brendan Todd. Well, the lie is fine. It's just really far below his feet. Second on the way for Todd. It is also headed right. Needs to get down. And Sepp Straka wins the John Deere Classic. With a final round 62, that could have been a little lower bar in the shot at the last, but that is a fantastic win. Second of his career on tour. Straka started the day four back. He wins by two in the Quad Cities. <laughs> Thanks for watching the PJ Tour on YouTube. To watch another video, click here.